Plaintiff Antonio Neville claims his big brother Anthony sprung a surprise car loan request on him, then blocked him when he wanted to get paid back. Now he's suing for $1,500. Defendant Anthony Taylor can't believe his little brother would pull a stunt like this after Anthony spent his whole life looking out for him. He claims he owes nothing. Antonio, you are suing your older brother mm -hmm. for $1,500. You loaned him $1,500 you did, want to be yep. paid back. Well, first off, I want to say, hey, Jerry, how you doing? Well, you said it very well. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Good, Thank that's you. good. You look good up there. Your black oh, robe man, just shining. Oh, man, you got good taste. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, Jerry, so the reason why I'm suing my brother for 1500 is because earlier this year, my brother had called me, and, you know, he usually doesn't call me and ask me for any favors, but he was like, Hey, bro, look, uh, I need a favor. Did he uh, talk like this? Yeah, he no, talked just talk like, like that. Nah, you'll, nah, you'll hear nah, it. Nah, you'll hear it. Nah, uh, nah. Hey, bro, listen, uh, can you help me get this car? I just need a cosigner because my credit ain't good. You know, of course. Yo. I was like, you know, this is my brother. This is my blood. This is sure. the back to my bone, you know? Well, one of the bones. I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and cosign for you. Um, so we get down there to the dealership, and we're sitting there, and we're waiting for all the paperwork and stuff, and he was like, uh, hey, bro, uh, one more thing, one more thing. Look, listen, uh, is it possible I could get uh, $1,500 uh, to right put now, down man. a payment on, on the car? Now, mind you, you know, I've been doing TikToks. You know, I got a couple of money. I got some change. You said you do TikTok videos? Yes. Uh, we have one here? Yes. Let's just take a look so we get an idea what you're talking about. Blue-eyed Jesus, unseasoned chicken in Seinfeld. I done gave you the wrong card. <laughs> Lord have mercy, I'm so stupid. I know you just want to call me stupid. I'm sorry, sir, but your card declined. The hell it did. I, I just got paid yesterday, so I know it's money on that damn car. Run it again. It's probably something wrong with y'all's system. It declined again. Let me see that damn car. Uh-uh, hell to the gnaw, because I know I got money on this car. I mean, I just used it at the gas station before I even came here. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Let me step outside and call my bank because this is not making any sense because I just used this card today and I got paid. Okay, y'all, so apparently this app is supposed to filter out all the cuss words like a reality show. <laughs> so let's see. <clears throat> ass, 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 Ooh. Yeah, that's my old show. Such a potty mouth, <laughs> huh? Right? Yeah, that's my old show. I got 2.2 million viewers. 2.2 um, million, very uh -huh. nice. A little cheddar for my biscuits thanks to TikTok. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I could give you 1500 That's not a problem as long as you pay me back. No. Did, did you say that? Yes, I told him that. I said, as long as you pay me back. Bro, you, it wasn't a loan. So, you know, I gave him you know, a month grace period. I hit him up. I said, hey, you know, are you good? Your car's good? He was like, yeah, yeah, my car's straight. I said, great. Do you have the 1500 Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to, you know, I, I got it. I got it. I'm going to give it for you this weekend. I got you, bro. Just I said, that. okay, yeah, sure thing. All the stuff I looked out for you for, you, I, I was old that at, at least. Fifteen hundred. What did What did you do, bro? You talking about your whole life? I looked out for you. You know what I'm saying? You named him. I did name him. Yeah. I, I well, of course, I wouldn't remember or know of that knowledge because I, mean, I was a baby. I, but no, I mean, I'm not sure. Like his whole life, I've been taking it, care of his whole life. I named this guy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Through grade uh, school, even up to college, I start going to college so he can get through college and do what he's doing now. What do you mean? You went to college like ten years after me. That's what I'm Before saying. Me. That's why I start. So how you know, the financial support him so he can do what he want to do. You know what I'm saying? I put all my stuff on hold so he was straight. Even to this, a even bunch of lies. up until the car no, and the money no, no, situation. No, 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 don't lie. Just, on, You're lying. Man. And I okay. wanted to help my brother, but you know, it looks like well, he doesn't want to pay me back what he owes me. Helping me out. I ain't know it was a long. I was like, bro. Can you look out for me on this right here? I need a cosigner. We, and, and now, mind you, when we're driving to the car dealership, we in the car joking, talking about, about to get a Lexus, Beamer, just joking like we normally do as brothers, because that's sure. what we do. We get there, you know, the reception is like, you know, if you put a little bit more money down, it bring your car payments down. I was like, cool. I look, like, bro, you can shoot me just the 15 or whatever. He was like, all right. He never gave me the, the, the notion that he couldn't handle it or he wouldn't give it to me. He just stuck his chest <sighs> out, got a lady the car. That's why right, we never discussed that it was a loan. I thought he was just taking care of me. Cause I always been taking care of yeah, him. Yeah, but okay, you, know, you say a, all and that. He tight, he tight with his, he tight with his money. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. We well, need to be paying for the assistant. He just called me, bro. Can you do this for me? Why I got? And I do it. I do it without no problem. You know what I'm saying? So this 1500, I'm old. That I feel like. Your Honor, he actually went to Vegas. 
Wow. He ain't paid me back at all. And I call him. I call him. I call wow. him. I call him. Wow. My wow. phone wow. was literally, it could not get through. I had to and block I went because he was harassing me. Oh, that's you in Vegas? It sure is. And he may have had a good time in Vegas, and he may oh, have he had spent a money in Vegas. But it doesn't go to the question of whether or not it was a loan or a gift. If it's a loan, it should be made clear in the beginning it was, that it's a loan. It was oh, never yeah, made. I knew it was a loan. He was just looking out for his brother. I was going to shoot him. I was going to shoot him. I was going to shoot him. Why are you lying? Why are you There's no, you have no communication, no text, no, no evidence. It was a loan. When you co-signed, for him, mm -hmm. which was very nice to do, it was clear that this was a financial transaction for which you had financial liability. You did too, but he had financial liability. You see, you sign on that. But yet, when you're now saying you handed over $1,500, there's no document, there's no text, there, there's no evidence that this was specifically a loan. It won't right. Has he it won't ever... Has there been a fifteen hundred dollars? Is a lot of money. I mean, we kind of fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, it, okay. Times Wait a second. It has it been another occasion where he has given you as a gift fifteen hundred dollars? No. The answer is no. no. No, because that's never been done before. The chances are handing over fifteen hundred dollars is not a gift that someone is used to giving, mm. unless it's your thirtieth birthday or a Preach. major event. So the assumption would be. Even if it's a brother, if someone hands you $1,500 in a time of need, your response would be, hey, I'll get this back to you. But I got you covered. That's that. what people I say. I was going to do it out of the kind of something on my first heart of all, why just would to you shoot not... it back to him when I got back on my feet. But yeah, we never why would discussed I not it let my, That is my brother. I'm, if, if, look, if I'm basically this guy something... a personal assistant. Every time he got to do something, he calling me. Hey, look, bro, can you, go, can you go walk the dog? Make sure the dog don't go crazy in my house, this, then the third. What Take dog? This back. I'm not questioning for a second that as an older brother, you have done things for him in life. But that doesn't go to the question about whether this specific transaction was viewed as a gift or whether it was viewed as a loan. That's a specific transaction having nothing to do with what else you might have once done for him. You might have thought because he never did anything like that before, $1,500, it would have been reasonable for you to assume that, I assume I gotta pay him back on this, this is $1,500, he's not just handing it to me. And you, if it's a loan, you gotta make it clear that it's a loan. Thank you. Loans can't be casual. Thank you. You know, at that time I was like, well, I'm making some money, so let me go ahead and take care of my brother. And this wasn't a gift, this was a, okay, I got you, pay me back. And okay. uh, you've been working long enough. You don't have the car long enough and been working long enough. I mean, what, what are you paying your rent with? Okay. What you paying your car note with? You could have paid me my 1500 right. three months ago. Hello. This is, okay, case dismissed. Thank you, Joe. I'm going to just look out for him I'm a good bit, brother. I'm going to mend this situation so we get back on the right track. And, you know, bygones will be bygones. But at, at, at this point, he's tripping right now. If I were to do a TikTok, um, on Jerry Springer. Well, first, I would like to be the judge and listen to the cases and um, make the rulings. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.